We're in the backside now of Hurricane Ian. The eye lasted for a very impressive hour and a half. So we were able to walk around and get a sense of what the damage that was caused overnight as Ian was making landfall on the front side. That eye again coming right over here, the provincial capital of Benar del Rio. What we've seen so far, some roof damage, power lines down, and on the backside, more damage going to be caused by very strong winds at time. Whiteout out light conditions, not able to see more than just a few dozen yards in any direction. It's, it's a monster. It's a monster that is impressionant. Very, very, very hard. So far, it doesn't appear anyone uh, was injured by this. These are very, very strong buildings built with concrete, but in the uh, in the outside of the city, the Las Afueras, as they're known here in Cuba, those buildings, those casas, those houses are not built to the same level. And so likely there's going to be a lot of damage to this area, especially on the farms where the tobacco is grown. The crop is going to be destroyed by these very strong winds brought in by Hurricane Ian. And again, we're just waiting for this final part of the hurricane, the backside to pass, so we can continue to go out and see what this storm caused here in Western Cuba. In Pinar del Rio, I'm Jonathan Petromala for Weather Nation.